What's up, you guys, and welcome to the next episode of Skyward Sword Art on RT Online. Funny story! This episode was supposed to come out yesterday, and uh, remember how I said I had to do some off-camera stuff? Well, yeah, I did all that, and then my Wii Remote died, so I had to go charge the batteries and wait to record it today, which is today, which is Wednesday. Uh, if you're wondering why this area doesn't look the same, well, behind this door, those were those plants that I was trying to get across to unlock that door. And the door shut behind us, so I can't really prove that to you guys. But yes, this is the door that those plants were behind. I didn't even have to kill them. I got hit by them a few times, as you can see from my heart counter. And yeah, I just avoided them. I was being a big wimp. So let's continue in this dungeon. Hopefully we can finally get out. And what the hell is that? Holy shit. It's like the Cerberus skeleton. Okay, um, what do you have to say? I locked on, Fee. Do your fucking job. Target locked. Staldra. This is a snake monster from before the dawn of time. Three bone-plated heads and a thirst to cause pain... To cause pain... Three bone-plated heads to, and a thirst to cause pain. Keep it writhing behind, even beyond death. My analysis shows that to defeat this cursed snake, all three of its heads must be simultaneously destroyed. You have defeated zero of this enemy type. Okay, so how am I supposed to knock out all three of their heads? Oh wait, I see. Haha! <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. In fact, you just got a heart. Special jingle. Um. Nope, that's the only way we can go. Let's trust our heart and move onward. So, have you guys ever tried ghost pepper salsa? Uh, I have, and let me tell you, it develops immunities to any other spicy stuff you eat. Like, I had jalapeno, jalapenos today, and let me tell you, it did not burn my mouth like it usually does, because the ghost pepper salsa makes you immune to anything spicy. It is that hot. I mean, yeah, it may be really spicy, but jeez, does it help. I mean, you can have spicy foods without having to be like, oh god, I can't stand it. So, do yourself a favor, go have ghost pepper salsa. It's delicious, but it's really freaking spicy. I mean, just from a few chips, I wasted about three three cups of water. <laughs> fucked up, yo. Straight up fucked. Come on. Where do you... Hmm. Oh, it's swinging. Okay. So we can't go across, right? <laughs> No. Or we could just fall to our death. That that helps. Oh crap, we're gonna die. Um Damn it! This is so imprecise. Keep jabbing! Fuck yeah, bitch! Take it to the ass! Alright, now that we know how to freaking spin them around while they're on the web... And we use our beetle to get that heart. Let's go. Full lion beetle. And we got the heart. Let's see. Anything else? Anything? Nope. And you're gone. But we're going to use it again in just a bit. Let's just see if anything is up and about. Nope. Go. Yeah, red gem is hit. That's a way to not waste your slingshots. Yeah, let's go into the door.
Wait, what? Uh. Well, that was easy. Okay, map time. Oh, so we need to go back there. Now that we have a shortcut to get back. Vines! Come on, Beetle, keep going, I believe! Go! You did it! Alright. Hit that vine one more time. Oh, wait, no, wrong button. Dang it, I keep making that mistake. I, I think B is to launch it, but I, it puts it away. It's A to launch the Beetle. Alright, is that the last vine we need? I'll, I want to make sure. Let's see. Wait a minute. We didn't need that. Oh, yeah, we might need it if we go in there to go back. Alright, so we're thinking ahead. Good job. Shake it, Link! Shake it! Shake it! Aw, oh, yeah. That's how we do it. That's, that's how we do it. Alright, come on. I'm getting a genius. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this? I detect Zelda's aura. There is high probability that she is beyond this large door. Thanks for the advice, Fee. So I'm going to need a key, but first, let's save the game. All right, we're not even ten minutes in. We're doing great, as usual. Well, there were some episodes where we didn't do so great. But hell, I'm getting into a new pace of Zelda, and I'm getting a lot better. There we go. A tightrope. And we missed completely. Let's try it again. Wait a minute, is that even a... Oh... Uh... Ah! Dang it, Link, don't auto-jump. Shit, shit, how much is my health? Alright, good. Okay, swing! And swing! Here we go! Nice, he didn't auto-jump that time. Would have been very helpful if he did that the other time, too. Okay. Well, that was weird. Okay. Oh, we could have went up here in the other way. Okay. Well, now we can take the vines to go into that room, so... Whee! See that? Told you I was thinking ahead. I'm a genius. And there's a chest. So let's jump for... No! Oh, damn it! Okay, we get another try. We need to make sure our trajectory is good. Okay. Uh, turn that way? Okay. What the fuck? How do I do this? Do I need to get lower? Maybe that's the trick. Let's go. No, I'm already low enough. But just in case. Okay, and slide. There you go. Alright, Link. I'm trusting you. Okay, that is an impossible jump. That seriously is an impossible jump. I'm gonna go again. We're gonna spend the entire video on this fucking thing, I swear. Alright, go. Go! What are you doing? Alright. Let's 
Swing with me, everybody! Swing! <sighs> Nothing is working! Maybe I need to get lower. Stop swinging, Link. Okay. Let's make sure we're facing it. There we go. Ooh, that's much better! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that game! Alright, let's see. Let's go down. Booyah! I win at life. I got a H. It's a golden carving that's shaped like an H. Let's see. So, I think we can take the easy way back. Yeah, let's take the easy way back. I don't want to take those vines. And da 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 da. Jump! Yahoo! See, this is the easy way back. Most people would go take the vine way now that they know how to get back. But me, no siri. Oh, and now we go this way. Alright, Link, balance. Come on, do it. You're the hero of something. I don't think you're the hero of time in this game. You're a different Link. Let's see, na 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 na. Na na Yeah! Alright, let's do this. Oh, I see. Ha <laughs> ha! I am the master! H. The letter of hell. Well, the first letter of hell. Oh no, I broke it! Oh? Nope, didn't break it! We could go save Zelda! Yeah! We're on the finale. Let's do this. Oh, bright light. Yeah. Oh, I recognize those socks. You're that fancy dude with socks. Who is this guy? Whoa, diamonds. Look who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are, not in pieces. It was you who summoned the tornado! Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Demon Lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call me f the this world you call the surface. You may call me Girahim. Girahim, huh? In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim. But I'm not fussy. Yeah, Link, get pissed. He has your girl. Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? <laughs> Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. This is kind of dark for a Zelda game. Whoa, bad touch! Still, it hardly seems fair, being of my position to take all of my anger out on you. Which is why I promised up front not to murder you. Eh, get away from me! <laughs> Don't do that with your tongue! He'll just beat me within an inch of his life. Okay. 
<laughs> Don't ever do that with your tongue again, Girahim. <laughs> Ew, this guy is nasty looking. I don't want him to be near me. Demon Lord Gear him! First boss fight! My sword! Huh, quite the sword you have here. But so long as you telegraph your attacks, the like the novice you are, you will never land a blow. Ow. Hell? What is he trying to do? Catch my sword? Oh yeah, he is. Oh my god, this guy is terrible. Dude, this guy sucks! What are you, a training mission? Oh, never mind. Get away from me! Bad touch! Okay, come on. Hey, I'm shaking the Wii Remote Shaking. There we go. Shake. Target lock. Gear him. I have no confirmed information about this man, other than he refers to himself as a demon lord. I sense a powerful and evil aura, and I estimate his level of ability as highly adept. However, according to analysis, he has yet to reveal his true power. Understood. So, is there any way to beat this guy? Wait, what? How do I beat this guy? I would really like if there was a health bar or anything. You guys, I don't know what to do. Okay, we got enough time to beat him, if that ever happens. Oh, now he's doing something. There we go! Yeah. Really bad touch. Oh, now it's a duel. Oh, I think I know what I'd do. Gotta shield bash those back into him. Ow! Alright, potion time! Hell yeah! What?! Uh oh, my phone is vibrating! Oh, I, me I meant to shield bash. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you suck, fellow matey. Wait, where'd my shield go? Oh, there it is. Okay, now this guy's putting up a fight. Let's see. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ow. I'm getting better at this. Yeah. How many hits does this guy take?
Oh, wait, I know what I gotta do. Alright, when he comes at us... Aw, oh, that didn't work. Now I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so... I'm so gonna die! Yay, I didn't die! God, dude, get a haircut. Well... You put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. Don't call me soft, you creeper! But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. You weren't putting mu up much of a fight, though. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Wait, she's gone? Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> Farewell! Oh! I don't know what that was. Now it's really golden here. <gasps> Shiny! Oh, it's a heart! I get my health refilled, and I get an extra heart. I saw this item online. It was an accidental picture slip when I was looking for a thumbnail in the last video. Let's go get it! I got a heart container! Oh yeah! Woohoo! Seven hearts! Seven hearts of good! I'm coming, Zelda! Even though your presence is faded, that dude could have been lying. He was creepy. Whoa. The atmosphere has changed. Now we're outside again. Holy crap. Look how blurry those graphics are. Oh, I saw 20 rupees up there. I want it. The statue of the goddess. And whatever that is. Oh, I'm not going to go without grabbing those rupees. I need them. So here I go. Grabbing the rupee. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Oh, yeah, 23 rupees. Oh, God, no. Now I pressed the wrong button to freaking get it back? Jeez, I am messing up a lot today. But that's okay, we beat our first boss! Woohoo! I feel strong. Oh yeah! I know what we gotta do! Skyward Strike! That looks like Solaris from Sonic 06. Oh, I'm getting some bad touch from that as well. Bad touch. I've been saying that a lot this episode. Maybe that's what I'm going to call this episode. Bad touch. Because Girahem is creepy. Hey, Fee. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate it for you. From the edge of time, I guide you. The one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. Whoa! Spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to sacred places to purify her body. You stain. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. Holy crap! She's walking on water. Fee is Jesus. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. Spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her has set out for the second sacred place. Whoa. Oh, that's another piece of the tablet inside that place of the statue of the goddess. We could go put it in there now. And then it'll light up a beam of light and we could go to the next location. Now I know how this game is structured. It took me long enough. We got the ruby tablet right next to emerald. Which one do you guys prefer? Ruby version or emerald version? <laughs> I prefer Emerald. But now we're moving on to the next location. 
Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spirit spring, where another great spring ex exists. So what's that 3% fee? However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. Maybe her loft wing? Nah, that couldn't work. My analysis suggests that you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface. See, I told you guys! Allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. Let's return to the sky once more. Before continuing our search, the bird statue outside can take us back up. Alright, which bird statue? Oh, we're just gonna teleport there. Thank you for the convenience fee. Glad to know we could teleport whenever we can. Or want to. Well, we are pretty deep into this episode, but that's okay. We did a lot. I, I don't really like putting time limits on my episode times, and this episode shows that. <gasps> that voice sounds familiar. It's a Kikui. Hey, it's me, Kui. Did you find the girl? I can't give him a yes? Oh, not yet. Oh, that's too bad. But it sounds like you at least know where you need to search to find her, Kui. That's something, right? I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kikui friends. It's all thanks to you, Kui. With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for real soon. Koru Ku, take care, okay? I will, little Kikui. Is that Machi? I'm pretty sure it's Machi. Alright, we did pretty fantastically, didn't we think? So we're going to take it to the sky in the next episode of Skyward Sword. I hope you had an, 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 I, don't, I was going to say an amazing time, but I'll stick with great time. Hope you had a great time on Rye Time. I will see you all next time.